Good day everyone! Today we are going to discuss about derivative of trigonometric functions in basic calculus where we are going to answer some examples for you to know how to solve it. In solving a derivative of trigonometric functions, you should be familiar with the six basic trigonometry derivatives. First is sine of x is equal to cosine of x. Second is second of x is equal to second of x times tangent of x. Third is tangent of x is equal to second squared of x. Next is cosine of x is equal to negative sine of x. And then cosecant of x is equal to negative cosecant of x times cotangent of x. Lastly, cotangent of x is equal to negative cosecant squared of x. Now we're going to find the derivative of this four given example. Our first given is y is equal to x raised to 4 tangent of x. In solving this, we need to use the product rule, which is y prime of x is equal to f prime of x times g of x plus f of x times g prime of x. First, we need to find the derivative of f of x, which is our x raised to 4. And to find this, we need to use the power rule, which is this n x raised to n minus 1. Our n here is 4. Therefore, it will be 4 x raised to 4 minus 1, which is equal to 3. Therefore, our derivative of x raised to 4 is 4 x cubed. Second is the derivative of g of x, which is our tan of x. And based on our 6 basic trigonometry derivative, the derivative of tangent of x is equal to second squared of x. Now that we have these values, we can simply substitute it in our equation. f prime of x is equal to 4x cubed. g of x is equal to tangent of x. f of x is equal to x raised to 4. And g prime of x is equal to second squared of x. We can just simply multiply 4x cubed with tangent of x and x raised to 4 with second squared of x, which will result to 4x cubed tangent of x plus x raised to 4 second squared of x. Now we're going to solve our second given, which is y is equal to sine of 2x plus cosine squared of x. And to do this, we need to find the derivative of sine of 2x and cosine squared of x. And to do it, we need to find first the derivative of sine and then copy the 2x, multiply it with the derivative of what's in the parenthesis. Next is the derivative of cosine squared, and then copy the x, and multiply it with cosine of x. Therefore, it would be the derivative of sine, which is cosine, copy the 2x, and then the derivative of What's in the parenthesis is 2x plus the derivative of cosine squared, which is 2 cosine. Because as we use the power rule, our power is 2. Therefore, it would be 2 cosine raised to 2 minus 1. And then 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. That's why it's 2 cosine. And then just copy dx times the derivative of cosine of x. Next is finding the derivative of 2x and the cosine of x. The derivative of 2x is equal to 2, while the derivative of cosine of x is equal to negative sine of x. Now we're just going to multiply cosine of 2x with 2 and 2 cosine of x with negative sine of x which will result to 2 cosine of 2x minus 2 cosine of x times sine of x. Next is our third given, which is y is equal to tangent of cosine of x. And to do it, we need to find first the derivative of tangent and then copy the cosine of x times the derivative of what's in the parenthesis. It would be uh, the derivative of tangent 
is second squared and then just copy what's in the parenthesis which is cosine of x times the derivative of what's in the parenthesis is cosine of x and then the derivative of cosine of x is equal to negative sine of x. Therefore, our answer would be the product of these two, which is equal to negative sine of x, second squared cosine of cosine of x. Now, let's solve our last given, which is y is equal to cosine squared of x all over sine squared of x. Since our given is division, we need to use the quotient rule for our solution, which is y prime of x is equal to g of x times f prime of x minus f of x times g prime of x all over g of x quantity squared. We need to find first the derivative of f of x, which is our numerator, cosine squared of x. And to do it, we need to find first the derivative of cosine squared, which is 2 cosine times the derivative of cosine of x. And the derivative of cosine of x is equal to negative sine of x. We can just simply multiply these two to get the derivative of f of x, which is negative 2 cosine of x times sine of x. Next is finding the derivative of g of x, which is our denominator, sine squared of x. And to do it, we need to use the same procedure with finding the derivative of f of x. Our derivative of sine squared is equal to 2 sine, and then copy dx, times the derivative of sine of x, which is the derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. Therefore, our g prime of x is equal to 2 sine of x times cosine of x. Now that we have these values, we could just simply substitute it with our equation for quotient rule. It would be this. Our g of x is sine squared of x. And our f prime of x is negative 2 cosine of x times sine of x. Well, our f of x is cosine squared of x, and our g prime of x is 2 sine of x times cosine of x, all over our g of x, quantity squared is sine squared of x, quantity squared. Now, we're just going to multiply uh, things in our numerator, which will result to negative cosine of x times sine cube of x minus 2 cosine cube of x times sine of x all over um, sine raised to 4 of x. It became a sine cube of x because as we multiply sine squared of x with sine of x, we're just simply uh, adding their exponent, which is 2, plus 1 is equal to 3. That's why it's sine cube of x. And for the cosine cube of x, we just simply uh, multiply cosine squared of x with cosine of x. And its exponent is 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. That's why it's cosine cube of x. And for our denominator, it became sine raised to 4 of x. It is because of product property of exponent which we're going to uh, multiply this exponent with this exponent and 2 times 2 is equal to 4. That's why it's sine raised to 4 of x. And with this answer, we can still simplify this by factoring out a uh, negative sine of x in our numerator. In our numerator. Therefore, we can cancel this sine of x. And which will cause subtracting a uh, one here in our in our denominator, subtracting one in its exponent, which for minus one is equal to three. That's why, well, for our final answer, our denominator would be sine 
cube of x. Therefore, our final answer is negative 2 cosine of x times sine squared of x plus 2 cosine cube of x all over sine cube of x. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something. And I wanted to leave this quote from Maya Angelou, which is, Seek patience and passion in equal amounts because patience alone will not build the temple and passion alone will destroy its walls. Thank you for listening.